Hey, what's going on everybody? So about a month ago, I uploaded a video on YouTube regarding this keyboard right here. I got a, quite a bit of feedback on here, not only through uh, YouTube, but through my Facebook account and everything like that. People kept asking me where I got this from, uh, what, what was the name and the link. I actually updated the link on there, but then I removed it because the uh, seller had actually already removed the item for sale. So it was an invalid email or a URL, whatever you want to call it. So this one right here, you can actually find it on eBay. If you type in i8 mini keyboard, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, that's the one that this will pop up. This one right here comes in two versions. It comes in uh, one with backlit and one without the backlit. This one right here is actually the backlit version. If you guys want to check out how I set it up with the Fire Stick and Fire TV boxes, please check out my other video. I have a link in the description for that. And it shows you everything from how to connect it to the cable that you're going to need. It doesn't matter if you're using this keyboard or this keyboard. You're going to need to buy an adapter, which is OTC adapter, that connects to both devices to your Fire TV box and your um, Android boxes, okay? Unless you have an Android box that has a USB port, you could type, so you could put in this little transmitter in there. Uh, you are going to need that cable for the Fire uh, TV and the Fire Stick devices. So I'm not gonna go too much into detail on this keyboard since I already did that, but the only reason I have this out is so you guys can check and see the size difference. Uh, me personally, I actually like this size better than the newer keyboard. So if I actually grab this one, this is the H9 mini keyboard. You can see the box right here. And this also has a, um, a backlit feature on there as well. And this one comes in seven different colors you can change it to versus this one has four different uh, colors you can change it to. The only reason I like this one more, uh, the most is just because it has um, a bigger, you know, uh, keyboard versus this one. If you put these together, you kind of see how much of a difference that is. But with that, even with that, you know, just being said, this one right here comes a context menu button. Another YouTuber actually commented on the video for this one, uh, talking about how not having this button through the Amazon. It actually kills some of the functions that you can actually use this keyboard for on the Amazon side. 99% of the people who get a Fire Stick are not using it for Amazon Prime or anything like that. More than likely, you're going to have Kodi and you know the other APKs like Terranium, um, Cartoon HD, Tea Time, all those good uh, good um, APK files. And that's exactly what I use mine for. You know, I don't have Amazon Prime or I don't watch anything on Amazon. Although there is a lot of free content on Amazon that you can get, you know, without actually registering for like Prime services. So this is when this is right here. This button right here comes into play. So just real quick, I'm going to turn this keyboard on. And again, if you guys want to find out how to connect this one or this one, just, you know, check out my other video and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So both of these are pretty similar as far as texture goes. This still also has like a silicone uh, type, of, type of back to it. So it's nice, you know, comfortable feel to you when you have it on your hand. Keyboards are actually, I think it might be a little bit bigger, more spaced out. It's kind of hard to tell in the in the video. But uh, this keyboard is actually pretty nice. I have big hands, you know, so it's going to take me a little bit, you know, time to get used to this one just because I've been playing with this one so much. But uh, one thing I do like about it, like I said, it has seven different shades of uh, colors you could do on the backlit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this on real quick. and I'm going to show you guys. On this one right here, you're going to be hitting the FN key and this little uh, gear looking key right here. So as you can see, it's kind of like a purple pinkish color. And if you turn this down, you can actually brighten it and it changes different colors as well. And you got to hold down the FN while you're scrolling up and down on this keyboard. Another big difference is uh, another uh, YouTuber actually commented they wanted to know if they can adjust this um, for the light to stay on for a longer period of time. From what I've noticed, this light does not turn off. Let me just turn this on. This light does not turn off on the backlit keyboard until you actually manually turn it off. Versus this one, it turns off within about 10 second span, which to me is you know more than plenty of time. Um, whenever you're searching for a movie, you know, you got 10 seconds for the next key and it just, you know, keeps going on and on. But if you want something that's going to stay on, then this is going to be the better bet for you. You can actually just turn it off completely. Like if it's during the day and you don't need it to conserve your battery and it will still, it'll still work. Okay. Let me see. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how, you know, it's compatible within the, uh, the Kodi and the APK files like Terranium and all that stuff. If you guys want to download my build, it is going to be available for download within the weekend. I'm going to be updating my links 
So if you guys want to, you know, get my uh, build downloaded onto your Fire TV stick or your Fire Box, doesn't matter what generation it is, you're more than welcome to download that as I have those links activated and uh, for, ready for people to download. The one thing I will tell you guys is delete any apps that you have on your devices just to make room. You're going to be downloading and installing about 27 to 28 different apps, which include browsers, um, APK files like Terranium, Cartoon HD. Pretty much on my build, I integrated all those APKs within my Kodi build. A lot of people are going to sit there and say that they don't you know, care for Kodi, and that's fine. Me personally, I've been noticing that I jump back and forth, but Terranium is a really solid app. You know, if you just want Terranium, then you're more than welcome to download that. I do have the ad free version on there along with the Yes Player. But uh, if you guys want to mess with the Kodi and you know, have both, you know, that's what my build is for. You can, you know, pretty much jump in from Kodi to the APK files within the click of a button. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing for iPhone users. If you guys want to watch free movies and TV shows, just like you would like on an Android box or a Fire TV stick without jailbreaking your phone, I do have another video that shows you how to do that. And it actually lets you record, uh, I'm sorry, it lets you download an app that lets you record without paying for it. So you pretty much get free apps without jailbreaking your device. Right now, the app that I'm using is called Movie Pro to record my, uh, my videos for YouTube, which has the pause function. Um, as everybody knows on iPhone, you cannot you know pause when you're recording a video without downloading another app. So that's exactly what that that's the reason why I got that app, and I actually found that you can actually download movies and TV show files to you know like applications for you to watch your movies and TV shows for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn my uh, tripod here to the TV so you guys can check me out uh, using this little keypad right here. We're gonna go and turn this light back on too, just because I like you know looking at the little light right there, just like this one. Amazon side, you cannot use your mouse cursor, but once you get into the Kodi and you get into the APK files like Terranium or Cartoon HD, this mouse uh, cursor right here actually becomes activated almost immediately. So just let me uh, change my tripod and we'll be right back. Okay guys, I uh, just loaded up my Kodi side real quick. I forgot to mention, when you're using the Amazon Fire uh, TV Stick or Fire TV Box Remote, the cool thing about this one is that whenever you uh, are in Terranium, you can actually use the voice search. So you just hold this down and you know search whatever you're looking for and it's gonna populate it without you having to type it in. Uh, so that saves you a lot of uh, time. And just like on the other video that I posted regarding the other keyboard, you can use this remote and your keyboard at the exact same time because it's not Bluetooth. You're gonna be connecting it with that adapter and you're just gonna connect your transmitter to that adapter with your uh, Fire Stick and your cable that came with the, for the actual device. So you can actually use both of these. So if I scroll with this one, you can kind of see how that moves around. And then if I get this one, you can see that it works as well. Okay, and like I was talking about the cursor, you can see that cursor kind of going up. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into the add-ons real quick. And this is the context menu button. This also has the function on the other keyboard. It's a little uh, right click on there, but this is actually more for Amazon um, function. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And we'll just go down to whatever. I'm gonna pick the very first movie just so I could kind of bring up this context menu and I can show you guys. And then we're gonna jump over to the Amazon side. So we'll let that load up. And this is running off of my Fire TV stick right now, uh, the newer generations. But these com uh, these keyboards are actually compatible with both the old school uh, generation and the newer generation Fire Stick and Fire TV box. One thing I forgot to mention in the other video, if you guys are gonna be connecting this to the, um, to the Fire TV box that has a USB port, make sure you turn off the USB debugging because if not, you will not have any function with the, with the keyboard. You have to turn that off to give the USB function and power to, this, to the keyboard. So once we click on this, if you click this little button, it'll bring up your context menu. And obviously, you know, you can do whatever you want. We're just gonna go ahead and add to favorites for this. And then uh, we'll back out. And like I was saying, I'll show you guys my build real quick. I got my movies, TV shows, uh, live TV. I got all the APK right here, the silk browsers right here for my sports and my other live TV. And then you got, let me see, obviously you got your kids zone. You got a Spanish section, music section, Pepe Reeve events. This is a real big popular one that all, people always ask me about. 
I actually put a note back here and it tells you where exactly you can find you know your uh, boxing and your UFC, UFC uh, pay-per-view events Fox Sports 1, BT Sports 2, Sky Sports etc so that's a good thing to you know fall back on if you're ever you know new to Cody you don't know where the pay-per-view events are this is where you're gonna be looking within either these live TV apps or the Cody add-ons that I have right here on this build non Cody apps is exactly what it is you don't have to depend on Cody if you don't want to I got a whole bunch of them right here and these are all APK files that I've integrated within my build so if I click on here it's actually gonna take me down to the uh, to the terrarium and I'll open that up just like that so if you guys want to you know play with your mouse on here and kind of make it easier for you or if you guys want to use your little keyboard I'm not gonna play anything guys because I don't want to uh, get any strikes on this you know, so you just click on Coco and we're gonna add this to our favorite and then we'll back out of here and then if we go over to our favorites TV shows will be saved here and then movies will be saved over here as you can see now we're gonna this also has a home button just like the other keyboard click on home and it's gonna kick us back out and it's gonna take us all the way over to the Amazon side okay so we're gonna go down here you know actually before I do that this is one function that the other keyboard doesn't have okay so we're gonna go to the home the other keyboard can do this but whenever you want to organize your apps right here you can't you can't bring up this options button right here because the other keyboard didn't have that button so if we click on this button right here for the options then I'll bring it up as you can see on the bottom right hand corner and we'll just move that app to the front just like that and same thing for the Amazon side if we go down to the Amazon side we we'll just go ahead and click on this Gumby real quick and we're gonna go to play and then again, this button right here is real important when you're on the Amazon side. It brings up that menu on the bottom right hand corner and now you have your function back. Okay. And that's pretty much it, man. If you guys uh, wanna check this keyboard out, again, this is a H9 mini keyboard, seven different colors. You can uh, change your um, background to, or your backlit. And it works pretty flawlessly too, man. I've only had it for a couple of days, but it works just as great as the other one. Like I said, the other one, I like it better just because it's bigger, but I could easily get used to this size right here as well. And it does have the Amazon function uh, context menu button right here. So there's another close up for it. And then you have these little buttons right here on the side. And again, I'll bring this one right here. I'm gonna turn this one on so you guys can kind of see. the difference just like that you guys thank you for watching if you guys have any questions or any issues feel free to comment leave me any uh, kind of feedback you guys want if you guys want any other links for anything else like I said my build will be available to download for free I'll probably leave it for about a week I'm not sure exactly how many uh, people will actually download it if you download it uh, please go ahead and leave me some feedback tell me how you like it I will be updating again soon probably about maybe two or three weeks or something depends on how much free time I have but if you guys want to download, like I said, feel free to download it. And I appreciate any kind of feedback. Remember to subscribe. And I'll be uploading some more videos here shortly. I just got to get some free time. I'm taking advantage that my little boy's not here right now. So that's why I made this video real quick. But uh, thanks again for watching. And that was the H9 mini keyboard.